Welcome to another episode of Classic Macintosh LPs. Today we're going to be looking at Shuffle Puck Cafe. It's a request from my good friend Wheels of Destruction. Now as you can see the computer didn't shut off, shut off properly last time I uh, was using this emulator. Basilisk 2. But I'll show you why. Basically, uh, any attempt to access this game's menu crashes the emulator for some reason. It is a game from 1988, as you can see, so that might be, have something to do with it. This is old even by classic Mac standards. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll, I'll crash the, the uh, game just to show you. Let's like if you're in a game and of air hockey and you try to access the menu. There, there we go. System error. And if, I I can restart the computer or continue, but if I continue, it just crashes Basilisk. So we can still play the game, but uh, we're probably not going to be able to save scores or anything like that. If uh, that's what the menus can do anyway, I have no idea what the menus can do because I can't access them. So, we'll just play a couple games of air hockey. That's what this game is. You basically just play air hockey with a bunch of weird characters. <laughs> I never played this myself, but interesting request, so thanks for that, Wheels of Destruction. Anyway, let's play with this lady here. I think it's a lady. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, uh... Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. She must be... Oh. <laughs> I can't react in time. It, I don't know if the game is glitching or anything else. But let's see if we can find an easier opponent because I'm just screwing up at this. Oh. Ah, I can't, I can't react in time, this person. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna surrender if I can. Uh, we're gonna have to restart. See, this is the problem. Um, I don't know how to quit a game or anything else. <laughs> So, the game is playable, but not to the extent where I can probably do a full episode on it. Ironically, I happen to be enjoying a coffee right now <laughs> while playing this game. <laughs> Let's see if this guy is any easier to play against. Oh, he does seem easier to play against. I mean, this robot guy. <laughs> yeah. I got a point. We'll try playing against the different characters, see which ones are better and which ones aren't. <laughs> but yeah, basically, yeah, this is just the hunt whole game. You just play air hockey. Or as far as I'm aware, anyway. I think you can probably mess with the settings in the menu, maybe, but I'll... I'll have to just... Well, I'm probably never going to be able to figure that out, because <laughs> I can't access the menus. Oh, he got a point. Shit. Anyway, pretty fun game, all things considered. Uh, it's not something I would probably play for very long, but I like the art style, and for 1988, this looks really good. <laughs> 
Oh, it's <laughs> moving so slow. Oh, come on. Just need a point. See if we can win this game. So I will take requests if any of you what people watching, I don't know how many people are watching this, but <laughs> I will take requests if there's anything you want me to play. Uh, I don't really, haven't played every single Mac game, old Mac game in existence, but I'm familiar with a fair amount of them. Well, a lot of the shareware stuff anyway. And the freeware stuff as well but not to the same extent. I think back in the day I used to just trowel through uh, free, freeware and shareware uh, CD-ROMs and stuff. I didn't have a Windows computer till I was about 13, so yeah. Had to deal with having a lot of crap games, basically. <laughs> well, they weren't all crap, but a lot of them had their own charm to them, I suppose. One in particular, Mac Rogue, I really enjoyed. It was like a Mac version of the game Rogue. Um, that one was really probably hard, but I suppose all roguelike games are hard like that. But yeah, that was my first roguelike game. I might do an episode on that in the future. Got a lot to get through. Yeah, must be pretty crap at air, virtual air hockey. <laughs> I'm losing to, well I'm not losing, but I mean I'm, I'm not being able to score quickly against this guy because he seems pretty crap. Another point. Let's try shooting it. It's a bit distracting with that mouse cursor, so I'm just, you know, showing itself when I go to the edge of the screen like that. It's a bit annoying, honestly. Come on. I don't know if the games are endless or if they have an end. I've, I've never played air hockey, so I wouldn't know. I think let's just get the score to the end there and see if that finishes the game. did not hit that properly. <laughs> Come on, you bitch. I need to hit this thing fast. There we go. We won! And I can't quit the game because, uh, you know, we've got the menu crap and it locks up. Now I can't even restart. Anyway, uh, that was Shuffle Pot Cafe. Pretty fun game, I suppose. I uh, really wish I could, you know, properly uh, play it, but. You know, they have to deal with these things with these emulators. You know, that 
the old Mac OS computers were in, in, had all incompatibilities out the arsehole and these emulators are probably even worse when it comes to incompatibilities so you know the probably probably the old Macs are probably the most unstable computers I've ever like had the experience of using <laughs> So as you'd imagine, emulating them is an absolute bitch sometimes, especially if you want to run specific games or software. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this mini-episode. Uh, catch you later.